Hey, what is going on everybody, and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 out today. Got some more RTA for you guys. Now, no real plan going into this today. Well, kind of, it's like that every day actually. Sometimes we try to manipulate our opponent's drafts so we can showcase certain units, but it's not always guaranteed. We'll see what we can do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ban... Ban Bellion and Hua Young this time around. I feel like I'm okay with Aeola right now. Or, yeah, I don't want to deal with Bellion. She is way too oppressive of a unit. Very nice, finally, four bands that are not the same. Uh, we got Ron Ban, Sea Lily is banned. Okay. Oh, and then he's gonna first pick Para. Fantastic. So what do we do? I think we go for A-Roz, and then we go for DJB. We're not going to go for DN. DJB is fantastic into Para, um, and we don't need two Soul Weavers as of right now. We could potentially have Dilibet um, here as well. Dilibet's pretty good into Para. Okay, he's going for a cleave, so Sid is coming out here. Flitica as well, whoa! Okay... Huh, is he taking away Flitica because he knows mine is fast and he doesn't want me to speed contest? I wouldn't speed contest anyway, I don't think. Is this an Armin game? This looks like an Armin game. Armin and Sage Ball, right? I think we go for something like Armin... And then we go for something like Sage Ball. Or do we go for Meru? Is Meru good here? Yeah, Meru should be good here, right? Let's go for Meru. And then we'll last pick Sage Ball or something. Alright, so Syria being picked out. That's pretty normal in Cleave. Lionheart Sermia. Okay, I mean, we can pick Sage Ball here, and I think we're good. Yeah, let's pick Sage Ball. Who do we ban? Do we care about the Lionheart Sermia? Or do we care about the Caesarea more? He might- ooh, we didn't pick Dilibet, right? Could have picked Dilibet somewhere. Because now I think we have to ban Caesarea. I think we have to ban Caesarea. Because if he bans DJB, we're in trouble. Lionheart might screw me over though. Oh, he didn't ban DJB! Uh-oh. Uh, we might actually be in trouble now. Yeah, we might actually be in trouble now. I thought he was gonna ban DJB. Um, okay. That's an issue. I should've banned Lionheart Sermia, but... We'll see how this plays out. <clears throat> if we're lucky, we can DPS her down real quick. Alright, so she's not going to S2 here. Just gonna buff attack. Flitica can S2 strip pretty safely here. And then she can try to uh, res uh, reset someone. Probably Meru? Meru is a good unit to reset here. Mine's on counter though, so hopefully she procs. But then again, Lionheart's gonna go. So we might be, might be in trouble. Okay, he's gonna reset Meru, come on, please. Let's magic for friends and counterattack <laughs> That would be fantastic. Nope, nothing. Nothing at all. Who's he gonna go for? <clears throat> okay, he's going for DJB, did not get the kill there. Protected him with a little barrier action. Now, he has full skill nullifier. Could not get rid of the Meru, okay. Let's go ahead and do this, get rid of the Para. Alright. Do I care about the immunity? Yeah, let's do it. Let's push up everyone, including Armin. I don't really need to save my DJB's uh, skills or anything here. I think we go for a break on all the skill nullifiers, and then we Meru S3. Oh, we can't Meru S3, right, so we're gonna have to finish off the Sid here. Okay, Flitica's gonna go. I hope Armin or Meru counters. 
That would be ideal here. Oh, magic for friends. There we go. Very nice. Got a nice counterattack. And now, proc magic. There we go. Okay, can we get a stun? Lucky stun. Nice. Very nice. And we're just gonna go for damage, because Armin already has. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, Armin already had a defense buff. So there you have it, Meru pulling through with these... <laughs> <laughs> with these, like, I don't know what to do, they're cleaving me, and then just just pick Meru, it's fine. It'll work. 30% of the time. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and continue banning these two, I believe. The reason I'm banning Hua Young is I want to play more bulky units, slower play style, so I don't really want to pick Hua Young, because then my opponent's gonna go pretty aggressive to try and deal with her. Uh, we also ban Bellions, I just don't want to deal with it. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, see Lilia's first pick, that's fine. Dien is banned, so I think we go... <clears throat> we can go Aroz, and we can go Dilibet. <clears throat> yeah, this should be okay. Dilibet into See Lilius is fine. We might need another Cleanser, though, so keep my eye out for the rest of his draft here, and we can adapt. He's thinking hard on what he wants to pick here. Hmm... Okay, I mean... <laughs> didn't have to think... Oh, okay. Didn't have to think too hard about those two picks, but sure. Uh, yeah, let's go for... What is decent here? We can go for Spectre Tenebria, maybe? Spectre Tenebria seems pretty strong. Alencia is also pretty strong here. I think we go Alencia. Uh, we don't pick Stene yet. I think we go for... God, I really wish I had Dien. Uh, wish she wasn't banned. Sharon's Earth, and I can't pick her because Alencia's already here. You can pick two fires and kind of trap me in a draft. So... I guess the best option here is actually just Spectre Tenebria. So we'll go with that and see how it goes. So now the ball's in his court because I could always ban Seed Lilius. It's not too... Wow, Fire Ravi is really seeing a re resurgence here. I'm seeing her in the Epic Seven World Championships. I've ran into her in a couple of drafts uh, in the past couple weeks. Hmm. Because, I think because of the rise of Alencia Sorry. again, she's starting to see a little bit of a bump in usage. Fire Charlotte too, very nice. Um, Rowana doesn't really matter here. If we ban the... Arc Demon, we should be okay. I think we should be okay. So let's go for. Go for Rin? No, we don't go for Rin. Let's go for Sharon. Let's go for her. Yeah, let's get rid of uh, Emeru here. Because he can't really reach Spectre Tenebria now, right? He can't really reach Spectre Tenebria. He has to ban Spectre. Yeah. No, he bans Dilibet. Okay. Uh, I think we'll do this. Protect the Alencia in the back. We don't have a cleanser now, so C. Lilius might be a little bit of an issue, but... The good thing is that Alencia doesn't really need attack. Mostly HP skill. I mean, attack obviously does help. We'll be doing a lot less damage with an attack down, but we could be okay. Sharon might be able to cut too after the C. Lilius' turn here. Because <clears throat> she has a chance to cut. Um, okay, he provoked the Raws. She has a chance to cut based on the number of buffs my opponent has. 
Okay, is he gonna S3? No, he's just gonna S1. We're gonna counter. Decrease his turn duration by one. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and apply Venom to everybody here. Okay, Venom is on everyone. Cool. Okay, A Ravi can go for. Okay, he's gonna go for Alencia here. Wow, dealing quite a bit of damage. <clears throat> so, my team is basically an injury team, right? Where's. Uh, Sharoon, uh, did I call her Sharon before? It's Sharoon. With Sharoon and Alencia. So let's go ahead and injury down this uh, A-Ravi. Defense broke is very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and cycle out of our debuffs here. And let's see if we can hit this A-Ravi for a good amount of damage. I know we have attack down, it's kind of unfortunate. But we're going to try our best to deal a bunch of damage to her. She lost a turn there too, which is quite good. ML Kalric, I think, yeah, okay, he, he gets a... He gets to cleanse himself here, cleanse the whole team. Immunity and attack buff, which is quite strong. We're just gonna go ahead and keep hitting the Kalric. Right, Shuru needs to turn cycle here, so he has a bunch of buffs. It'd be nice if we can cut somewhere. Wow, and he took a Ravi too. Okay, see, Shuru just pushed herself quite a bit in combat readiness there uh, with her passive, as you can see. So uh, it is not limited to once a turn, I believe. All right, what do we do here? I think we go for a heal and a defense buff. Now, Shuru gave my specter a crit damage buff, as you can see on on my Tenebrian there, which is pretty good. I'm gonna keep going for the A-Raz. Sharoon gets to go again. Let's just hit the A-Ravi here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, he's bringing the A-Ravi! He's getting very, very lucky here. Okay, let's go for a full team strip. Hopefully we can get the buffs off of the A-Ravi. He's getting very lucky with these dual attacks. Alright, now he can go ahead and put his revive buff on. Again, no big deal. He can go for an S2 strip now, I believe. No, he's just gonna S1, try to push up the A Ravi. Right, we have crit damage buff, let's not waste it, so let's go ahead and hit the A Ravi. And let's go ahead and hit here with a defense break, hopefully. Nice. Okay, and we finish off the A-Ravi. She's very low. She's probably gonna just slam her S3. Oh no, she's not. <coughs> okay, that was not what I expected uh, to happen. He can provoke the Alencia here. We resist. Quite nice. Let's go for the... Oh, he resisted there too! Uh, he can... oh, he can only S1 here. That's fine. Okay, so now let's go for this, see if we can finish off the A-Ravi. Wow, okay, she cleansed that. Oh, and we're so close! So, so close. 12k HP A-Ravi. We should be able to get her very soon with this next Spectre turn. <clears throat> The counterattacks are not what I want right now. Alright, and he can give uh, a barrier to A-Ravi. Okay, no, he's not. He's just gonna go ahead and S3. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I don't think... I don't think I can do anything here to the A-Ravi, unfortunately. We got a crit buff from Shroon. Not the best one there. Ah, very nice. And there we go. I wasn't expecting to kill there, but I guess Spectre's stacks um, finally added up. Very nice. So another victory for Shroon. <laughs> she didn't do all that much there. She did a little bit of injury damage, but not all too much there. But hey, it doesn't matter, right? We get to see fun units. Shroon might not be one of the best units in the game, right? Not uh, a unit that's 
what people call like the best in slot or meta or most ideal unit. But she's fun to use, so why not use her, right? <laughs> of course, if you're early in in the early game, you don't have the luxury of building um, these more experimental units. But I'd say that yeah, of course there's going to be units that are meta, and of course there's units that are not going to be meta. But as long as you're having fun in the game, what does it matter, right? We'll occasionally get strong units that will change the tide of the meta, or we get uh, little buff uh, updates to older units that make them relevant again. And sometimes newer units just don't perform uh, as well as we would like them to, but I feel like that's okay as well. That seems to be the topic of discussion on the channel for the past couple of days. Uh, but yeah, okay, this guy goes for Spectre Tenebria really early on. Wow. This guy's never changed his name either. Okay, so what do I do? I think I go for DN. Spectre's slow, right? She's not that fast. We can go for DN. <clears throat> do we go for Alensia as well? I feel like we have the luxury of Alensia. Right? We, can, uh, <laughs> we can strip her buffs the Spectre Tenebrius buffs and um, work from there. DJB into DN and a Raz. I mean, that's not a bad counter pick. I've seen it work. All right, Carrot is very interesting. Uh, what does this open me up to? I can go for an SSB pick here, right? Yeah, I can go for an SSB pick. And then what else? What else can I pick here that would be good? Could I pick Ida? Ooh, yeah! Let's go Ida and SSB, right? Let's go Ida and SSB. Yeah, let's go for it! Because now I can ban whatever his last pick is, and I think we're gonna be fine. And Violet is not gonna see the light of day. Yeah, because we have two units to punish the carrot pick, and uh, AO both AoEs for the Spectre Tenebria. Right, DN is going to be banned here, okay. That is fine. DJB might actually push things up. My Ida's pretty slow here, actually. Alright, so I think we're good. DN was the correct ban there, actually, for him. Because I'm not able to push my Ida up. Ooh, look at that. He is... Gonna be able to push up his team. Okay, let's see what happens, right? This guy's a really nice guild. Look at that guild crest on his uh, next to his name. Right, he's buffing immunity. He pushed up the team. Attack buff for the team as well. Pop the S3. Okay, he's so gonna soul burn it too. That's a vi oh, this is a Yolo carrot. Look at that. She has like no health. She all attack. Gonna pop the Alencia maybe. <clears throat> okay. All right, that's a lot of damage into the Spectre. Spectre's gonna go ahead and hit the. Okay, finish off the Alencia. Probably finish off the Ida as well. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Now, he can put the attack down on the SSB. Yep, and... Oh, I think we lost this one. For sure. Oh, and I thought we were doing pretty good, too. Yeah, the blind blind debuff is probably going to seal the deal here. I don't think we can really do anything. I'm gonna try, you never know. Maybe we're gonna hit some defense breaks with this next uh, SSB counter. Right, let's just go for it. Okay, we hit some stuff. Still not looking too good, though. Yeah, not looking too good. Couldn't finish off the Spectre there. Okay. Oh no! He dual attacked! Wow! 
<clears throat> Alright, well, this is gonna be pretty unfortunate for me. It's gonna pop an S3. If my if my SSP was lifesteal, this might be a different story here. This might have been a different story if my SSP was lifesteal. Yeah, but I we're not gonna make it though because uh because I'm not lifesteal. Unfortunate, unfortunate. I should have saw that coming, right? I should have should have maybe set up for the Ida a bit better. Maybe Alencia wasn't the pick there. She didn't really do much in that match. Alright, it's okay though. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this next one. Not doing too shabby so far. Alright. Another guy with a fancy guild crest fighting all these really good players. Um, <laughs> I'm like, never had a guild crest before. Or at least a fancy badge behind it. Alright, let's see. We got these two banned. Or should we? What happens if we don't ban Hua? No, we have to ban Hua Young. We have to ban Hua Young. I don't know. Do we need to ban Bellion? Maybe we ban something else here. What do we ban? You know what? Let's ban. <clears throat> let's ban. Emil Calric. Ida and Ron are banned. Okay. Alright, let's ban Emil Calric and see what happens. He's annoying. He's just a very annoying support unit. We're gonna switch things up and see if we can... Oh, he picked Dien. Dang it. Really wish I got the Dien there. We're gonna go Aroz. We're gonna go Alencia into this. I know I've been picking Alencia quite a bit, but... She's been really strong lately with the emphasis of buffs and my eternal fear of Shu. <laughs> Alright, uh, wow, that's a, okay, a buffer, another buffer, oh, Lionheart, so, ugh. Uh, I think we go Dilibet here, with the cleanse on the sea Lilius. What else do we do? Lionheart, Sermia. Lionheart Sermia. Ooh, you know what? We can go Rimuru. <clears throat> I think Rimuru might be good here because of the because of the DN, right? Because of uh, Sea Lilius and all that, we might be able to get away with this. I hardly ever pick him. I feel like Rimuru's kind of dropped off a bit, right? Notice how he just came up, showed up made everyone stop using immunity, and then kind of just went on a slow decline, and now you don't really see him picked as often. Okay, Solitaria and Arcdemon into my team. Huh. Right, so, we're probably gonna need another cleanser. Actually, you know what, let's just go Rowana here, right? Rowana is a must-ban on his part. <clears throat> Can I fight Arcdemon? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think I could fight Arcdemon here. I think I have to ban Solitaria. Hmm. If he seals Dilibet, we're gonna be in very big trouble. Alright. Oh, he actually doesn't go for Dilibet! Oh, he, I mean, he didn't go for Rowana. I am... Oh, wow. I am very shocked here. I should not have banned Solitaria, but I would, never would have known. Right? Never would have known. Okay. Is he banking on Soulburn sealing my Rowana with his Art Demon? Hmm. Well, my Rowana is actually not on her cleansing artifact. Shoot. I forgot she's still an idol's cheer, because I've been using her in Katie's. Uh-oh. Rimuru is provoked. I have no way of cleansing. That's a bit of a shame. <clears throat> Alright, pushes up the team. Aero still gets to go and defense buff here. Proof of Valor Lionheart Sermia. Okay. 
He's gonna seal the Rimuru. Did not work. They stripped everyone's defense buff. Wow. Look at this guy. Right, we get a nice little barrier, though. Lionheart's going to get a little buff up. I think I hold off on Rowana here. I don't think we're gonna die. So let's just hit the Lionheart. Oh, okay, actually. This is pretty good, because I can go ahead and strip. If I can strip the defense buff off the Lionheart, we're in a pretty good shape. Oh no, and she resisted. I think that's 15%, because uh, Mind's Eye cancels out the effect res buff that she has, right? No one builds Lionheart on resist. Now that didn't do all that much, actually. 13k HP Lionheart Sermia. Right, can we strip the buff? Nice. No speed buff for him. Now, Dian's gonna be able to get the anti-crit buff up, but... <clears throat> we also have a lot of buffs on Rimuru, right? If, if she goes for the anti-crit buff, it's gonna be huge for me, because Rimuru gets to go ahead and give my team anti-crit buff here. Okay. Quite nice. I think we just go for the Lionheart. Defense broken. Proof of Valor, but look at that, we're doing so much damage! Good job, Alencia. Okay, he's gonna seal the Rowana, that's fine. Unfortunately, we're on Idol's cheer here, because uh, otherwise she can cleanse herself. Uh, I usually run... what is that called? It's not Touch of Rekos, it's um... Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and... Let's do this, right? Let's just Soul Burn Rimuru. Mine's a 20k HP Rimuru, so we're fine. Let's get rid of the Lionheart. Boom, okay. Very nice. Let's go for the hit on this. That's defense broken. This C. Lilius is... Hopefully gonna go down here. Come on, Alencia. Okay, can we get a crit? Nice. Okay. And, let's finish this off if we can. Very nice. Good job, Rimuru. Okay, so now we just have Arc Demon left, and we still have Rimuru that can uh, do his S3. Because we soul burned that. Arc Demon has to go one more turn without... Oh, he's gonna seal. He's gonna seal Lencia so I don't get Mind's Eye. Okay. That's fine. Because once Rowana moves... Alright, we should be okay. Rimuru gets to go S2 again. Yep, and we have S3 up already, so this is nice. This is very nice. Let's strip some things off of the Arc Demon here. Nope, no strip. Alright, we don't have S3 yet. Can we defense break this? Nope. No defense break. Alright, let's just go ahead and pop the S3 for the heal. Stack up another buff on our existing ones, and be harder for Arc Demon to kind of... Um, harder for Arc Demon to strip the ones that really matter here. And more buffs is also good for Rimuru, so... Rimuru, let's go. Replenish our buffs here. Very nice. Okay, got a nice barrier on the team. Rimuru gets the Soul Burn S3 again. Did not get to heal there. Yeah, so... Or did not get to seal there. Yeah, and it's pretty much over. So... Again, I thought he was going to be on Rowana. Rowana's kind of good into Arc Demon. The reason why is because... It takes too long for Arc Demon to get the Soul Burns to permanently seal Rowana, and because of, um, I guess just because of his team, like, he, he didn't have enough damage output to put enough pressure on me. Notice how I didn't even have to pop Rowana's S3 or anything, right? So let's be on Calric and, uh, this again. It seems to work out pretty nicely. Bellion and Senya, wow! You know, I've been thinking of building Senya after watching that Big 7 World Championship. She looks pretty interesting. Alright, this guy snags Dien early, so we're gonna go and pick Aroz and Alencia yet again. Okay, Spectre Tenebria coming out. 
See the lily is? Hmm. Okay. Could we go for... We can't really go for Landy. I guess we can go for Dilibet here. Dien can... So Landy doesn't work too well because Dien can push the team up to go. Or C. Lilius can um, strip the stealth off of her. So that's unfortunate. <clears throat> Do we have anything else that we could use here to get Spectre... To get rid of Spectre... Can we go Arc Demon? No, right? Arc Demon is not too great here. It lets him use Solitaria too. Oh, shoot. You know what? Let's go SSB. Let's give her a shot again. Oh, you know what? Politis might have been good there. Dang. Politis might have been good. Meru might have been good here too. Ooh, I should have looked in the fire units. Alright, SSB might throw a little wrench into his plans. He has to pick two units that could potentially be good into SSB. And whatever he chooses, I still have the option of going Landy last pick. Nice! FCC, very good. Very good for me, at least. Okay, let's see what he goes for his last pick. FCC is not too great into SSB overall, just because I have the ability to break down his barriers pretty quickly and also inflict a lot of AoE damage. Straze doesn't seem to be the pick. Ooh, Fire Ravi. Violet? Oh, he's picking Violet. Hey, then we can go Landy here. All right, we go for Landy. And I think we ban the Sea Lilius. He's gonna ban Landy, right? Actually, he bans Landy, then we ban uh, Spectre or Violet? Probably Violet. If he bans Dilibet, we're in trouble. Right? So we have to ban C. Lilius, I think. Okay, he did ban Landy. Alright. Um, I think banning C. Lilius is still fine. Still should be fine. The thing with Violet is that I can just not attack him with SSB, and we can just keep countering, and that's fine. We're good. So is he gonna buff? Okay, no, he's gonna push up the team instead. SS or er, uh, Spectre Tenebri is gonna go. Probably just pop the S3 into something. Yep. <clears throat> gonna hit the Alencia. Makes sense. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have a form of heal or sustain on our team. That is our major problem. I don't have a Soul Weaver. We might lose this one just because I don't have a Soul Weaver to sustain. He has some pretty good sustain on his team. Alright, uh, do I care if FCC S3? No. We're gonna try to um, get rid of the DN as fast as possible. Okay, so he is gonna S3. <clears throat> SSB is going to break the skill mode, though. No defense breaks. Dang. Alright, 17k HP Violet. Okay, he's going to go for the Alencia here. He's going to keep attacking the Alencia. Thing is, we can pop Dilibet anytime we want, and if we accidentally hit Violet, that means we can start critting him, so... That's gonna be pretty nice. Alright, I think we go for it. Why not, right? I think we just go for it. We have a defense buff, hopefully we can do a bit of damage on that Spectre as well. Oh, we hit the Violet! Oh, we reset the Violet! Ooh, ooh, ooh. This would dual attack with SSB though, I don't want to dual attack with SSB. 
Can we get the FCC down? Oh, nice. That's very nice. It's a counter FCC. Okay. Here, let's do this. I'm gonna S3. Right? Violet can't counter right now. And if he can't counter, he can't push his uh, Ciara. Oh no, he's gonna Moonlight Moon Blade. Okay. So there we go. We can hopefully hit Spectre here for a lot of damage. And there we go. Very nice. So, I think we have this because Alensi goes next. And uh, again, Violet can't counter, right? So Dilibet. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. You can't you can't dodge. Or, or Moonlight Dream Blade is going to keep proccing over and over. Dang. That's unfortunate. Dian can cleanse too afterwards. Oh. Oh well. We did do a lot of damage though. So now we can just kind of ignore him and we can take out the FCC, I think. That was kind of funny though. Not gonna lie, that was pretty good. Alright, let's take out the FCC here. Violet's gonna try to go for the Alensi, I believe. Oh, he's gonna Soul Burn. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, anti crit working for him. Anti crit working, okay. Anti crit really working for him. Alright, there we go, finally. <laughs> that was uh, a little spooky there. Okay. Now it's only the Dien and the Violet. I think we're okay. SSB is gonna counter again. A lot of injury on the Violet, which is quite good for me. A lot of dual attacks on my end, but... Go for this. Wow, a lot of dual attacks on my end. Okay, I feel like I'm a little luck sacking here. Uh, he looks like he's very angry. He might still win, because Violet's a wild card, right? You don't know how many times he's gonna dodge. <clears throat> Uh, do I go for a defense buff here? I think I do. Because right, Violet has his S3 up, so... Or now he does. So he can finish off the Alencia here. He can, oh, he's gonna eat the apple to heal. Okay. It's gonna decrease the duration of his buffs, though. He can still have the attack buff here. So he can go for the Alencia? Oh, he's just gonna S1, not even gonna S3. Very strange. Alright, well, we finish off the DN. Oh, we don't! Alright, well, now he kinda has to... Oh, he can S2. He can still S2, that's okay. Right, there we go, finally. Uh, now what do we do? Violet's gonna go soon, so let's just hit him. Oh, nice! Silenced him! Oh, maybe we should've gone for Dilibet S3, reset his thing, but he was gonna go next already, so it didn't matter, right? Okay, SSB is gonna hit him. Drink. Splash damage. Okay. Please don't die here, SSB. Okay, that's fine. We got a big Roz barrier. And... Please, Roz. Defense break? Nope, we miss. But he's countering the Raws instead of the SSB, which is good for me. Okay, let's go for this. S3 here. Please, hit. Hit. Nice. Very nice, Dilibet. Okay, so there you have it. Violet, not be able to pull things off, even against SSB. Although, to be fair, he didn't really focus the SSB. Got a couple lucky hits on the Violet here and there. Um, I think in the end, the outcome was probably going to be the same. I don't think he had enough juice to kill Dilibet, especially if she has a defense buff. So, I think we're going to end things off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below Let me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.